are lots of old hotels in Lancaster Gate. It sounded nice. It mentioned excellent cuisine. Here in England. <laughs> Mrs. Palfrey checked into the Claremont, hoping to start a new chapter in her life. I had imagined something quite different. Welcome to the Claremont. <laughs> uh, could, could you hold that, Miss? She planned to reconnect with family. Do you have relatives in London? Yes, I have a grandson. Oh, my Lord. It's one of those things. And, uh, oh, no. And make some new friends. I'm Elvira Arbuthnot. Shirley Burke. But what she found was an adventure she could never have imagined. There's more to you than meets the eye, Mrs. Palfrey. Oh, Lord. Now, an accident has become an opportunity. I would be delighted if you would come and have dinner with me one evening. At uh, the Claremont? But that would be very grand. A stranger has become a friend. I'm having a guest. We're finally going to get to meet this mythical grandson. Splendid! And two people will discover. Everybody assumed it was my grandson, Desmond. So? I didn't deny it. Why don't I be your grandson for the evening? Oh, would you? Life is just waiting for you. Are you ready for our entrance? By the way, what's my name again? Oh, dear. To invite it in. Welcome to the Claremont, young man. I hope you have a strong stomach. Is this your grandson? I'm Desmond. The resemblance is uncanny. From the celebrated novel by Elizabeth Taylor. Bravo! I'm asking you to marry me. <laughs> Academy Award nominee Joel Plowright. Would you share with me some of the things that matter to you from your life? I live in here. And here. And introducing Rupert Friend. I've never enjoyed myself more with my clothes on. Mrs. Palfrey at the Claremont. You have good genes, Mrs. Palfrey.